What's up guys, Stand Up The Strive, back here with another unboxing. Today, we're going to unbox an Aichi Sendo trial deck. So this is Royal Paladin. As you can see, the beautiful blaster blade on the front cover. Can't wait to open this up. And if you guys watched our last video, you'll notice that we got a King of Knights Alfred VR, a Soul Saver Dragon, and then we got our imaginary gift uh, force markers for Aichi. So I'll be putting those in the deck. All right, without further ado, let's open it up. May not need my unboxing knife. Real careful so I don't break the deck. Last thing we need is a, a broken deck. All right. So guys, with every trial deck, you get a first guide and a play mat. So this first guide is going to be your rule book and your kind of guide into the world of Vanguard, but it's mostly just the rules. And then you have the the you have the mat that comes with it. Looks kind of nice, but I prefer my own play mat to be honest. So that'll get you started if you don't have a play mat to put your cards on. And then just on the, the back, it gives you an idea of some of the combos that you can pull off to help you kind of understand how to run the deck. And then it also has ads for the booster set that we recently opened and the Toshiki trial deck, uh, which is Overlord that we'll be doing for my next trial deck review. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. Can't wait to see what kind of awesome stuff is in here. I'm more excited for the blaster blade though. Oh, ho, ho. that blaster blade. Look at that blaster blade. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blaster blade. It's, oh, that's great. So, if you guys don't know what blaster blade does, his skill is that if you have four or more rear guards, he gets a critical plus one on your vanguard circle. And then on VRR, when he's placed, you can counter blast one, soul blast one, and choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row and retire it. So he's good because you can place him and use his effect, but you can also call him from the deck and still use his, his effect. Alright, so grab some sleeves. We've got to sleeve up her sexy cards, right? Beautiful. Put that to the side. So, you get one regular art blaster blade, and then you actually get three of the new art for blaster blade. So, you're going to get, you're going to get a shiny original blaster blade, and then you're going to get a shiny new blaster blade. So we'll just sleeve that one too. And sleeve the rest. So we'll definitely be running four blaster blades in this deck. So there's our blasters. Set those to the side. And then next we have three Alfred Earlies. So Alfred Early, his skill is that when placed, you can counter blast one and call up to one blaster blade from your hand or soul to R and it gets plus 10 until end of turn and then you get to draw a card. That's really good, especially considering he has the force marker, 
So you're going to get that force on ride as well. So that's actually a really good card. Sleeve those up. It actually kind of works out great because if I had three Alfreds, I can run three Alfreds and then I can run my King of Knights Alfred as my fourth Alfred. So kind of separate these into grades here. Next, you get four Star Drive Dragon. Now, if you guys don't know what this card is, this card is actually from two decks that Bushiro brought out a really, really, really long time ago where they were just all vanilla stuff with not very good effects just to kind of let people get a feel for the game. So his skill is on R when he attacks a Vanguard. If you have three or more rear guards, he gets plus five until end of turn. That's not bad at all, considering it has a force marker, so it, it's very usable. It's just not going to be as good as some of the other guys. So put that to the side over here. I'm probably going to put three of those in for now. Just because I don't really have um, anything else to to kind of substitute in for that that I didn't get from my booster set. So next, we're going to get four Knight of Silence Galatine. And guys, the art is just amazing. Like, oh, like look at that art. It's just beautiful. I'm so glad that they redid the art. The old art was great, but the new art looks much better. So you're definitely probably going to want to run four of these to start off with. So then, next, we have Sage of Arch Joran. You're going to get three of those. Their skill is when it attacks a Vanguard, if you have three or more rear guards, this unit gets plus five. So essentially, it's the same thing as Star Drive Dragon, just a grade two with 10k attack. That's actually pretty good. So our next one we're going to be checking out is Wingle. So for Wingle, we get three of those. During your turn, all of your Blaster Blade in the same column as this unit get plus five. So that's not bad, but I think Wingle is going to be most strong in the decks that actually play full Blaster Blade. So I'm talking like you're not running Blaster Blade and then going for Soul Saber. You're running a deck that's completely revolving around Blaster Blade. So that means you're going to run more Knights of Alfred instead of um, Knight of the Round Table Alfred. Yeah. Next up, we have, after I sleeve these cards, Knight Squire, Squire Allen. You get three of those. So when placed on R, you can counter blast one and call up to one card with grade less than or equal to your Vanguard from your hand to R. If you call, draw a card, and this unit gets plus three till end of turn. Okay, guys, this card is actually good. I would recommend using it just because you're not losing anything from your hand when you call it. So essentially what how it's working is you're calling it you're paying the counterblast one, but then you're getting another card in your hand. So it's like playing a unit and then getting another card. It's like playing a unit for free. So like he's great because he's an AK booster that can give you a free unit. You guys, after this uh, trial deck review... I will go and make a uh, deck review for Royal Paladin with some of the cards I have, and I'll kind of show you guys just what I can do for my build so far. So we got four Strong Knight Runoria. She's basically just a Sentinel. She, it's That's all she is. She's a Sentinel. So that's your PG, your perfect guard that's going to guard for an infinite value. So 
Definitely want to run four of those. Only case I wouldn't recommend running four of those is if you do not have, uh, sorry, if you have a great, I w the only reason I would recommend not running these is if you have grade zero perfect guards, then I would recommend running two of the grade ones and then two of the grade zero perfect guards just so that you can stop people from using cards against you that say like, oh, you can't uh, guard with grade zero or grade ones. Next, we have Auspice Falcon. So we get three of those. Counterblast one, stand this unit, and two of your rear guards get plus 5,000 until end of turn. Sorry, rest this unit. Auspice Falcon, Counterblast one, and rest this unit, and two of your rear guards get plus 5,000 until end of turn. That's only on R, and it's an act, so you have to use it before you start your battle phase. Yep, that's actually pretty good. That's good. Because if you use this uh, in conjunction with Soul Saber, then that's actually not half bad. I mean, it's not amazing because it's only a 6k booster, so I might not run it because there's better things to run. But uh, it's definitely a good card. Let's sleep these up. So now we're just going to get onto the grade zeros and the triggers. And if you guys didn't know, um, I just noticed yesterday when I did my Team Q4 unboxing that um, they don't include triggers for Royal Paladin to Euro. And I assume that's because they assume that you're going to buy the Child X, so they don't need to provide triggers. So we got Glime. This is going to be your Royal Paladin starter. When he's rode upon, you draw a card. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, this is a lot different than the starting Vanguard because a long, long time ago, a starting Vanguard used to be just a plain vanilla car that you would ride on. And then later on, it became a forerunner when you rode on it, it called back. And now it's changed to the point where when you ride on it, you draw a card. So it's kind of, kind of neat to see it kind of change up there. So then we have Bringer of Good Luck, Epona. We got four crits. And then we got four Flogals. So we got four more crit. We got our Margul draw. Man, this is bringing back a lot of nostalgia. We got four heal trigger. Yada Jurassic, made in Elaine. I can't say that first word. Sorry. Oh, sweet. And then we get a shiny Alfred early. And a shiny Night Squire Allen. And then we get two force markers and we get a really nice blaster blade force marker. So that'll go, that'll go nice with the Aichi one that I got from the T4 Q booster set. Team Q4 Unite Boosto. So for most games, you're only going to need about three, three force cards to be honest. But you can run more if you feel that the game could drag on. I would probably run five or more cards just to be safe, but you could really only run three and you'd still be okay. So guys, that's basically the uh, the breakdown of the deck. I uh, I hope you enjoyed the breakdown and just kind of the different stuff that the deck has. And definitely, like I said before on my last video, guys, on my Team for uh, Q4 Unite unboxing, uh, Royal Paladin is going to take the meta. And it did when it first came out. But honestly, we didn't have Soul Saver back then. We only had Alfred and Blaster Blade. And even that was already broken enough. But now we're starting the game off and we're getting Soul Saver, King of Knights, Alfred Early, and Blaster Blade all within the, the first set and Trial Decks. Guys, let me know what you think about the Royal Paladin Trial Deck. Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? And if you if you do, let me know. Talk about it in the comments. You can tell me what what cards you think are going to reach the top meta.
Well, guys, this has been Stand Up the Sarayu. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, let the wind blow. <laughs>